I feel like people join when it tells me that they haven't joined yet. So, oh my goodness. Are you watching it? My face just came off. Mm, with the filter. Oh. <laughs> I got gum in my mouth. What's everyone up to? Well, service squad. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's my sponsor. Oh, yeah. From Morocco. Oh, Invisalign. Very good. Um, no, it's not hard to take out in training. It's really easy. I actually have mine. I don't know if it'll be a bit gross if I show you me putting my Invisalign in, but I don't care. Um, yeah, Invisalign was awesome. My teeth weren't that bad before I got Invisalign, but, um, like, I have a crazy difference. Like, the before and after is crazy. I've got, like, the set I have now, and then I have one more set after, and then I'm finished. And I'm really excited. And I think I just get a, um, like, wire in the back of my teeth. So, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, my Invisalign. It's super easy. Like, it's literally just, like, a retainer. And then it has, like, the brand on it. That's not just, like, the black thing on my Invisalign. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you just put it in. I got gum in my mouth, actually. So, I put it in. And it's a bit gross. Um... My eyebrow game. It's all about brows. <laughs> That's like, when I get my eyebrows done, it's the best ever. Like, I don't think I'd ever get my eyebrows done anywhere else. Um, I fight Saturday, so I fight tomorrow in Canada, which will be Sunday in Australia, about 12 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock in, like, noon time. So, yeah, it's super exciting. Weigh-ins are at 3 o'clock. Which is going to be super crazy going from, I'm just losing my last kg or so now. So not eating or anything, which is awesome. And then I will be weighing in at 3 o'clock. And then fights, I'll be fighting at about 10 o'clock because I'm the main event. Oh, it's really dark in here. Wow. Love that. Oh, no, that's not the light. <laughs> the lights are a bit confusing in this household. Look, I didn't even press a button. I just hold, held this down. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Easily amused. I always walk around when I do a live. Like, my brain just, like, doesn't know how to sit still in one spot when I'm, like, doing these things. I think because I get, like, a little bit nervous. But, like, I don't think I'm nervous. But, like, I, my self-conscious is nervous. Um, I just braided my hair as well. So if you want to check out braids by Jazz... <laughs> I mean, Jazzy Face. I don't even know what my Instagram account's called. Um, let me see these questions. I sort of skipped them. You're eating a tub of ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'm not jealous. Oh, yeah. I take my Invisalign out when I chew gum because if it gets stuck, like, that's really gross. I've, I've learned from my mistake. Do I have abs? The <laughs> um, well, when I have like a proper mouth guard, like mold, so like a proper one, but like it, my because my teeth change, I don't usually wear it a lot. But then other than that, I just have a ten dollar, like easy one, and I just change it whenever I feel like my teeth have really changed. It gets really tight, but um, it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I play, I do a bit of MMA, like, here and there, but I feel like there's just always something that gets in the way of training, just because I'm Muay Thai, like, I'll be too busy, I'll have a fight, or whatever, like, and then I'll go, and then I won't go. <laughs> uh, thanks, Yazi, for saying my hair looks nice. I miss you guys. Um, do I have a warm-up ritual? Um, no, not really. Um, <laughs> uh, my hair looks sort of weird. It comes like, because my hair is short, like I just cut my hair. And then, I don't know. It looks a bit like, not too messy, but it's really hard to do your hair on yourself. 
Like, this is where I started, and it's really, like, tight and good. And then I got really tired, and then I sort of gave up on this side. Um, tomorrow is... Oh, no, tonight in Australia is the JWP Amateur Tournament. So, Infliction. That's not JWP, it's called Infliction. And we have lots of girls from the gym fighting. We have, um... It's a big card, so... Make sure to check it out on Facebook. They're doing a Facebook Live. So... Cool. Good luck to all the fighters over there in Australia. Connor or kebab. Someone said Connor or kebab, not Connor or kebab. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Pari is actually at a seminar right now. He is... Yeah. Do you know where the seminar is, Ashley? Yeah. Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm not a local. A. Hey. If I should use it up. Who's on? Who's on the live? Um, what day? Oh, it's Saturday in, um, Australia. I'm still like, I feel like I'm still a little bit jet lagged, but like, I'm not like... Oh, I need to sleep right now. I'm just like, I feel just all over the place. It's amazing. What time is it where everyone is? Saturday morning, 9.35. Awesome. I'm so excited. I really, I'm excited to watch the fight. For, I hope everyone goes well. Oh, what time will that be for me? It'll be like early morning for me. Oh, I'm gonna have to get up so early to watch. And then I'll just sleep all day. Cause the weigh in for my fight tomorrow is at um, 3 p.m. And cause I won't be eating or anything. Um, I'll just be losing the last kgs. I'll probably sleep a little bit. Probably sleep for like most of the day, if I can. Oh, I had Tim Hortons um, last night. I got a classic. What did I get? Pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Hi, Sydney. How's everything going? Back in America. <laughs> um, is there a live stream for my fight? I'm pretty sure that there is. Just stay tuned on Facebook, I think. Oh, oops. Shoddy. We weren't telling anyone yet. Pardon? We weren't going to tell anyone yet. Oh. It's okay, though. Oops. Just tell people who buy tickets as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to tell everyone last week. Okay, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Very smart. What is it? Very smart um, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> is that the Japanese culture center? Uh, yes. Sure is. Tyler Vincent yeah. underscore two and nine. Check it out. Are you coming to my fight? If you know where it is, I'm sure you're coming. Come support the Australian gal. <laughs> Oh, tonight, um, we are going to, what is it? Room. An escape room. <gasps> I'm a little bit nervous. Actually, not a little bit. Like, a little bit is another statement. Like, I'm actually really, really nervous. So that's cool. We're doing a, um, oh, well, what the zone now? We're doing a jigsaw, um, Oh my god, I can't speak. A jigsaw. A jigsaw themed escape room. Yes. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys don't mind I'm chewing my gum. 
I don't look. I feel like it looks gross. I'm trying not to chew so much. I just put it to the side. Oh, I miss you guys too. <laughs> Sending love to all my Australian family. Um, motorbike riding. Oh, I'm going to Niagara Falls on Sunday, so I'm super excited for that. I was like, I was like, can you go swimming there? And Ashley was like, uh, I think if you went swimming, you'd probably die. <laughs> it's like the I like I forgot like it's just like one really high mountain thing oh it looks like I'm wearing gloves by the way because my tan is sort of rotting off like no shame like why do I do this to myself I think I'm too white and then I'm like start disintegrating and it looks disgusting but that's like home tan if I got a good spray tan then I'd be okay You're trying to learn the Australian accent. Um, replaced like R, like water, wa like water. Change the R to A, uh, like A. So it's like water, car, car. Did you just say car? <laughs> I said car at the exact same time, Illuminati. <laughs> um, yeah, we might be watching Triple G and Canelo after the fight, I think. I think, I think, I don't know. Put some what hair, sorry? Oh, Thank you. If you like these braids, follow my account at underscore jazzy braids. <laughs> I'm gonna plug myself because I don't care. At underscore. Jazzy's braids. But we're on cross side, so yeah. I think that's my account. It's gonna be awkward if it isn't. Oh, hello. How do I pin my comment? Oh, I keep freaking switching the camera around. A New York accent, brother. Water. I don't know why. I reckon our accents are so bogan. And then, like, when we come everywhere, we're like, when we speak, I'm like, I don't know. Sure, bogan, eh? <laughs> and then in Australia, because I was set, I typed on my Instagram story yesterday, I put um, A, A Y E, but it's E, e H, but like Australians. And then we sort of like use it as a comment, like, like a question. Like, that's so cool, eh? And they're just like, that's like a full stop here. I feel so weird, I'm just speaking to myself, like. <laughs> I'm like sitting in the kitchen, speaking to myself. Oh, life is weird. Like, who brought me to this position? You did. Yeah. <laughs> this is my knee. Okay, put my knee away. Um, how long into the fight? The fights start at 6 p.m. Doors open at 5 at the Japanese Cultural Center, I think. Yeah. Yes. And tickets are, how much tickets? Uh, 35 in advance, 40 at the door. 35 in advance and... 40 at the door. Gosh, my, my, uh, patient, not patient. I don't know, don't worry. It was literally something about concentrating and not like how fast my concentration goes. I forgot. And my red hair, I, I, I don't know, it's fun. Cause I'm fighting tomorrow, so I wanted my hair like braided. But why braid it normally when you can add red hair? Like, pretty cool. Oh, it's bit the side of my mouth. Oh, my attention span. There we go. That's the word. Radical. Ah, oh, I bit the side of my mouth. Love that. 
super cool. Um, JWP, he is at a seminar in Aurora. He's in Aurora. Um, how many fights have I had? I've had 21 fights. And I'm fighting with elbow pads, yes. Um, my Snapchat's in my bio. There's definitely not a spider on my shoulder. I sort of fell for that, like I sort of didn't. Wait. There's not. Ha ha ha. Oh, Teal, bless you. One day, we can get a photo together, maybe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you, Teal. You're a champion. Um, my elbow... Elbow pads come off. I fought with that elbow pad before, but um, I think the rule here is you have to wear elbow pads, and then you also have to wear headgear as well. So I'm wearing headgear, shin pads, and elbow pads, and then yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. For my eyebrow comment. Should I say about... Hold on just a second, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have some stories. <laughs> I have some haunted house stories. So, um, we're staying in this house. It's really nice, but it's really old. So, it's a three-story house, and it's super cool. Like, I'd show you around, but I just can't be bothered. Three stories. Walking up and down is a mission and a half. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so, the first night we were here, I got sleep paralysis. And that was so scary. I've never had sleep paralysis before. And I was so, like, I was like, oh, my goodness. And I was freaking out, like, so bad. Like, I didn't know what to do. I woke up, I called my mom, and I was like, ah, mom. And then I was telling Ashley that I have, like, an intuition that just something is, like, like, there's a vibe in this house, like, I just feel like, like, there's a presence. But, like, it wasn't bothering me or anything. And I was like, oh, yeah. And also, oh, I was on phone to the phone to my mom, like, later that day, and my dad was at a seminar. So it was just me at the house, and I heard footsteps like it was proper footsteps like it wasn't in a distance like it was like right there and I was like oh I'm pretty sure my dad isn't here so I was like on the phone to my mom and I was like dad dad calling my dad because I just thought he would reply and then I was like wait my dad's not even here like he's at a seminar and I was like what the hell like this is sort of scary and then my mom was like oh it's fine don't worry about it blah 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 and then when Ashley came I was like hey like I just have the intuition blah 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 um, and I was hearing footsteps, and she was like, oh, really? That's sort of crazy. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, um, later that day, we came back to the house, and my dad was still at the seminar. And she was like, oh, do you want me to hang out, stay, and for, like, however long, just until he comes home? And then, we, I was like, oh, I'll show you around the house. It's really cool. Like, it's really nice. We walked up the stairs. The front door opens by itself. And I was like, oh, man, we were both freaking out. And then another fr uh, another guy was there, Odie, and he was like, oh, my gosh. So we made him shut the door. He shut the door, and um, we were like, okay, that was a little bit weird. And then we were sitting down. We just stayed downstairs, like, didn't go upstairs or anything. And we started putting, what were we watching? Conspiracy theories? Because, yeah. you know, I love that because a bit of conspiracy. And then, um, like, a minute into the video, I was like, pause the video. I can hear the footsteps. And they both sort of looked at me like, like, no, there's probably no footsteps. But they were like, right, like it sounds like it's right next to you. It's so scary. And they're just like walking up and down and we're like, oh man. And then Ashley heard the door, um, the door, what was it? Like a drawer. Oh, a drawer, close. And we were like, oh man, this is scary. We're just sitting in a corner, like the three of us, they're adults. I'm just like, just like, ah, mom. <laughs> they were sitting in the corner and then 
um, my dad and Tony ended up coming back like a couple minutes later and we were like freaking out telling them they didn't really believe us. And then my dad, like today, was like, oh man, I can, I heard the footsteps and it sounds like they're right next to you. Like, I, after my dad left to go to the seminar, I was by myself and I was like listening and it sounds like it's like right near you. So I stood in the middle of the two um, stairs because it's three stories. So I'm in the middle where my room is. And um, I was standing like right in the middle of the two stairs to see. And you can hear it. Like it sounds like somebody's just walking right down the stairs. Like if I had my eyes closed, I would definitely think somebody's just walking there. But there was no one there, no shadow, no nothing. And I was like... <sighs> so I called Ashley and I was like, hey, when are you coming over? Do you want to hang out? <laughs> and here I am. Breaking out. Hi, Ethan. How's it going? How's school, sucker? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Yeah, throw the whole house away. This house is so old. Like, it's really cool, actually. I'll show you guys around. We're on DeGrassi. How do you say? DeGrassi? We're on DeGrassi Street. If you know the film, Degrassi, what is it, a series or a film? TV show. Well, it's a TV show, Degrassi, Drake eh? Drake was on it, yeah. Let's get a look at this. Elias J. Brown, 1893. I got a Canadian accent all of a sudden. I don't know where this came from. That's what I think the Australian accent sounds like. So bogan. <laughs> I know I really wanted to meet Jeffrey Star, but you know, I'm in Canada. Okay. So slight, slight dilemma. <gasps> yeah, Thai people are very superstitious. Like they, my dad said, out of seven out of seven days of the week, four days he'd get sleep paralysis. And then he was telling the trainers, he was like. Oh, like, I had a crazy dream that, like, someone, like, a force, like, I couldn't move and I couldn't speak. And, um, they were like, oh, that's just the ghost sitting on your chest. And he's like, ah, normal. Scary. Scary, scary. I feel like nobody's watching. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Who's watching? <laughs> so whack. Did you end it? I think I'm gonna end it. Okay, I gotta charge my phone anyways. Thanks for watching everyone, super cool.